These are the plaintiffs, Jan Safarik and Jennifer Lee Harbour. Jan says he and his girlfriend rented a room in the defendant's house. And once they got there, they realized the environment was hostile. That's right, the defendant blamed them for stealing her food, stealing too much Wi-Fi. And they couldn't take it any longer and moved out. The defendant refuses to return their money. And they're here suing her for the $525 they say they're owed. This is the defendant, Christy West. She says the plaintiffs almost caused her death by leaving a door open, which exposes dangerous stairs. They did indeed steal her food, and they're out of their minds if they think she's the one who owes them money. She's accused of holding on tight to the cash. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiffs say that they rented a room from the defendant, but the place was such a hostile environment, they bailed. Now they want their money back. But the defendant says the plaintiffs almost caused her death because they left a dangerous door open, which led to a treacherous staircase. They stole her food, and she's glad they moved out. It's the case of get a room, a non-hostile one. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, uh, let me hear from the plaintiffs first. The two of you were renting a place from Ms. West? Yes. And how much were you paying per month? Uh, it was fourteen fifty for the first three months, uh, which was supposed to include the utilities. Okay, and how long did you folks live there before a problem came up? Well, it was about the first month and uh, the problem started and they escalated to a point that we decided to move out earlier. All right, and what were the problems? There was a problem between Jennifer and the landlady that escalated to a point that Jennifer was starting to be accused of. Okay, so Jennifer, you maybe know. you can speak now and tell me what the problem you had with the landlady was. First of all, was she living in there with you guys? Yes, ma'am. And was anybody else living there? Well, she told me that there was a teacher that lived upstairs and she had a man that was kind of like her butler that lived there and I thought she had the downstairs turned into a living room because her foot was hurt but it comes to find out that she had several people living there she had people living in the backyard that were Mexicans that were on meth and she said she would give them just a bowl every day to get by there was like five dogs in the house that were biting everybody um, she had like two people living in the garage two people living in a back garage in the back of the house that was all just thrown to and it was just police getting called every day and it was a really scary environment okay what was the problem that you know that uh mr safaric was saying had arisen between you and the landlord what were the what was a specific well, problem christy christy actually has a great personality and she's really funny but she, she reminds me of my mother a lot but she's just so dramatic and theatrical and she needs so much attention that she's not getting for whatever reason, that she will yell every time you go past the steps, like she wants you to help her cook dinner. She wants you to help her take some trash out or help her. You know, I don't mind helping her, but it's like we couldn't work. We couldn't do anything. We were getting screamed at. Um, it was just oh scary. It was filthy. It was a nightmare. And then right, you didn't have a lease, right? This was a month to month. We were. We're going month to month. And like, okay. as soon as we moved in, her son, I guess he lost his job or something. So he started living on the couch in the living room. And it was just oh like, God. it was just so many people there. But I think he needed a place to live. So she was trying to start being real mean to us to get us to move. And I wasn't going to let it work. So, Ms. West, what uh -huh. seems to be the problem that you kept their security? I, I kept uh, some of their security. I kept the uh, cleaning deposit. And first, first and foremost, I don't know if it matters now, but she has totally misrepresented um, the living situation. Totally. OK, you tell this me is, what it this, was. It's a forty five hundred square foot house. And I rent out the top floor and everybody pitches in for cleaning and for um, things of that nature. And she can neither cook nor clean nor do any of this. And um, that that is the situation. All right. These folks live there how long? It was coming up on three months, I believe, by the time they got out. Okay. And why is it that you kept their security deposit? And what did you keep? You kept a cleaning deposit. Tell me what that is. I got 650 of 1500 Okay. 
I never got the full deposit. And uh, she had nothing to do with this. I ran it to Philip. Okay. And she was um, with him. Okay. But where did you, what well, gives you the right to keep $250 for cleaning? What gives you that right? This is San Francisco. It's not, you know, it's not Tulsa or Nashville yeah. or, you know, it just costs more. And that's what, that's what I normally pay the woman that um, okay. cleans but for me. Okay, but what gives you the right to deduct it from their security deposit? Do you have an agreement with them? Did they sign something that said, we agree to pay you $250 for cleaning our room? We didn't sign, we didn't sign anything. Okay. In San Francisco, that's the standard thing. Yeah, Ms. West, I need you to listen to me. I understand that yeah. things are very expensive in San Francisco. That's not the question before me. The question before me is, do you have a legal right? right to withhold $250 of a security deposit to cover cleaning. And the answer to that- I believe that I do. No, and I'm telling you, you don't. And the answer to that will lie in what, it doesn't matter whether it's San Francisco, Tulsa, or Nashville. The answer to that will lie in, well, how did they leave it? Did they leave it so filthy that it required 250 to clean it? So now I expect to see pictures that you're going to show me that sh that show me how dirty they left it. Do you have any such pictures? Yes or no? No, I do not. Okay, I gotcha. Take pictures. Now I do the not next. Take pictures oh like well, that. you might want to. All right. So the cleaning deposit was the first thing you deducted. What's the next thing you deducted? I deducted money for the for the food that she constantly stole. Tell me about that. Out of the refrigerator, the cabinets. He had her on some kind of a crazy starvation diet where he would give her two ounces of pasta. How do you know he had her on a diet? Eat. Well, I don't know if it was a diet, but I mean, it was, this is what he did. He had her, he cooked every night and he cooked two ounces of pasta. So sometimes I would offer her a, a dish or something, but she would go in the refrigerator and eat everything and just continue, continue. And How I did complained you know to that? Philip. How did you know that? That it was her? It was her. gone and she admitted it. Okay, so you talked to her and she admitted it? Yeah. Okay, but what evidence do you have that would justify Sorry, she's suing, very, she's keeping- She's a problematic how, person. Okay, okay, how much money and, did you keep for food that you suspect she ate of yours and how I is think, it- I you, think I took $75, Right, but how do you pick the $75 as the value of That's it? how much I spend money on groceries. Right, and I, but how, I, what proof I do you have that much it's $75 spend dollars worth of eating at two times or whatever times? Like, How are you coming up with the math? Well- I'm educated. I'm okay. educated. I don't write everything down. I keep track of things. And All right. What else I know did how you, much. What else did you subtract from the security deposit? I split the money that she stole from my son, who does not live on my couch, by the way. He's a professional poker player, world known, world renowned, What's world his name? loved. And he came to visit. What's his name? And um, she pretends to be a psychic. And um, when she pretended to be a psychic, she she told him uh, Jack Seven was our card. And then my son told me, oh, my God, he said, that's the woman that looked me up on the Internet because he won a he won a fairly, fairly significant uh, tournament and he won with Jack Seven. Um, I don't know what you're my, saying. My what are you son, saying? She stole one hundred dollars from your son. Yeah. A hundred dollar bill. Know? He had it How wrapped around know? his license. How do you know that she so stole it? She she was observed. Okay, she she told him where to find the by license. She was observed by whom? By by my son. Okay, is your she, son here to testify? No, my son is not here to testify. Okay, gotcha. He's so, in Colorado. So according to you, your son saw her stole it, or assumes she did because she told him where the license was. He saw her with the license. He saw her with the license prior to it disappearing. And then it disappeared. Okay, and now I'm gonna, that's what we call hearsay. So now I'm going to, and plus, it's not your $100, so you can't sue for it. Your son would have to. So you can't deduct okay. $100 for that. Are you psychic, Miss Harbor? Uh, I'm an astrologer. I'm not psychic, but he was sleeping on the couch. So I took an educated guess that it would be lost in the couch cushion is where he found it. Mm -hmm. And his card, according to astrology, is a jack of clubs, and it's not a jack of sevens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. It was Jack Seven. It wasn't Jack of Clubs. It was Jack Seven. And okay, that's what she everybody stop talking then my, about my what other card my it was. Other son. And let me ask you, Ms. Harbor, did you steal a hundred bucks? No, ma'am. Now, um, okay, fine. I didn't deduct a hundred. I had deducted fifty. I split it with her. You split it with her. Either she stole a hundred yeah. or she didn't steal a hundred. Which is it? Of course she did. That doesn't mean that I can't. You know, I, I, I told. I was very compassionate toward her because she's. She's goofy. I'm sorry. And it doesn't become apparent until after a while. But Jennifer has been knocked off Facebook for defending her whiteness. I mean, she's a 
very prejudiced and our family and our house is not a prejudiced household. Okay. It was very difficult. Okay. She opened, she opened the bathroom door and had it lined up so that if I had gone in there in the night and it's completely pitch black there. So if I had gone in there in the night, I would have fallen down the stairs to my death. Why wouldn't you put the light on if it's pitch black? It, it's not, my house is not set up that way. There's no light in that little section. Well, it sounds very dangerous. All right, you also withheld, how much did you withhold for the floors? Oh, I, I think it was $50. I can't remember right now. When she poured the beer over my bedroom floor and the water. How did she pour the now, beer? Tell me how she poured a beer over your bedroom floor. She came into my room and she took the can. <clears throat> First, she took the water bottle and she threw it against the, the dresser and it broke and water went everywhere. Why did she wait? Tell me the circumstances that led to that. Why is someone throwing a water bottle against your dresser? She was leaving. She, I'm telling you, okay. she's a nutcase. I'm sorry. She's a troubled girl. Yeah. Philip has never given us any problems. The only problem that Philip gave us was that the two of them ran two businesses out of their bedroom and took all the bandwidth. Okay. And that's what started this problem. Okay. Mr. Safarik, um, d did you want to respond to any of this? I have to say that, yeah, she was very nice. At the beginning, she cooked for us and offered food. And um, But Jenny turned out to be um, allergic, and she just it's kind of, I know, the word would be dainty, you know, how she is. And uh, Yeah, but was she stealing food? The other people in the house are, you know, kind of like heavier people, you know, that require more food. Uh, Jennifer is, is a rather small girl, and there is no way that she could eat all that food, you know, like... Okay, did you ever talk to her? Did you ever, did you ever confront yes, her? And, course, and she said, I'm not taking the food. I don't know of, what she's talking about. Of course, of okay. course. Yeah, we, we talked about it many times, but I really arrived to the conclusion that it, it couldn't be Jennifer. Did Jennifer like, throw a water bottle at the dresser when she was leaving? I wasn't, I wasn't there in the room. I was like right outside the room. I know they like yelled at each other. There was some, you know, commotion. But and he saw, he saw, he saw, yeah, saw water got spilled. Some water. water got spilled, but that's all I know about it. Okay. How would water spilling uh, on the floor also, cause you to have to refinish the floors, Ms. West? It's because the floors are wooden. Okay, I know, but and usually you, you can wipe. I had to, You're right. So, do you have any I evidence? Wipe them up because I had to wait. I had to wait for the police to come. Okay. And so they sat there. The beer sat there. She took the can and poured it all over and said, "This is just the beginning." And then the same thing with the water. This is what she did. What happened with for the, the police? entire time? What happened with the police? The police came. They told me they couldn't arrest her because they weren't there. But the fact that she was moving. He said, I could, he said, you can get a restraining order. And I said, well, I was a little uncomfortable about getting a restraining order, someone in my house. Do you have any pictures of anything you're talking about? I had the floor repaired, so there's nothing. Well, I yeah, you could take a picture that. before having the floor repaired, did you? No, I didn't have a picture before. I didn't know she was going to pour beer all over the floor. Ms. Harbour, I want to hear about the argument you had with, with Ms. West, because I'm sure something mm -hmm. happened. Well, it was an accumulation of every day constantly accusing me of stealing this, stealing that. Uh, she just kept screaming at me until I just snapped and I just start screaming at her back. And then I was kind of scared and I backed up and it knocked off the beer and she starts screaming at me to clean up the beer off the floor. So I just, you know, I was dramatic. Yeah, I did spill some water and beer, but it was like I was just so stressed out because she kept screaming at me and I lost my cool and I feel bad that I did that. All right. The deposit was six fifty. She returned one twenty five, correct? Uh, one thirty actually. One thirty? All right. So then yeah. you're suing for five twenty. Five twenty. All right. 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 Um, I'm gonna make Ms. Harbor pay Ms. West a hundred dollars for cleaning the water and the beer off, not getting new floors, but you can't keep 250 for cleaning if you can't show me that there was $250 worth of cleaning required because there's no well, standard. No, here's listen, what I can no, do. this is the part where you need to listen to me. There's no standard deduction for cleaning. There's no such animal. All right. You either have to agree beforehand that there not. is a standard. Absolutely not true. I know. In San Francisco, I, I know you're special in San rents, Francisco. So, I know you're here. special in San Francisco, room, darling. I know. They pay, And they mm -hmm. leave. They pay a cleaning deposit. 
Mm-hmm. They knew when they moved in that there was a cleaning. Had they know? Had they, had they no know? Money? How would they know? Because I told them we talked it over, and Julian. Okay, was there. watch this, Ms. Sa- and, Mr. Safari. Did you ever agree that, to a two hundred and fifty dollars cleaning deposit? No. Absolutely. Oh, watch that. How'd that go? That didn't go so well. I'm allowing you to keep $100 and I'm ordering you to return $420. Verdict for the plaintiffs. So the plaintiffs are going to get $420 back from the defendant. Ms. West, you heard the judge. You got to get $420 back. What? What's your reaction? My reaction is, is that the judge doesn't know. Probably the judge does not uh, do very much with rentals. And in San Francisco, when you move into a property, when you leave, it wasn't just about their room. They, she never, they never cleaned anything. It was the entire house that they didn't clean. Ms. West, let me just tell you, the judge heard your testimony. She found against you, you got to give them $420 back. All right. That's the judge's decision. Sorry about it. Ms. Harbour, let me ask you a question. Uh, You know, Ms. West was saying a lot of things about you during this testimony, Mm -hmm. and uh, you had almost no reaction. It was very interesting. Didn't it bother you or not? You were listening carefully. Well, it bothers me, but she just reminds me of a sad person, and she's funny, and she's a sad person, and I feel so sorry for her. I can't even be offended by her outrageous comments. And when I finally did get offended, I did flip out. It cost me $100, but I think it was worth it. Okay, Harvey. Doug, a landlord has a duty to disclose to a prospective tenant that other tenants are living in the same place. That is a material fact that simply needs to be disclosed. The question is, what kind of dog is Sammy? Our dog, Sammy. Okay, that was a mystery for a little while, at least among my children, because they were all. But like, let, well, let's be clear, this was she was not a rescue. No. And I'm allergic, right. so I bought this dog knowing what kind of dog I was getting, which basically. is a labradoodle. Right. But the kids would argue that, well, she doesn't really look like a she, labradoodle. She does. Her hair's too straight, or this or that. She's like a thing. schnauzer. So finally, our youngest Sophie decided to have a DNA test done. She actually. Did. Right. And it, okay. but the DNA test was like a hundred bucks or right. something. Right? So she kept asking us to pay right. so we're and not we kept pay, saying we don't no, care no, no. Kind of and then she got the DNA test and then she, her business plan was all messed up. Right. <laughs> then she thought she could get everybody to pay. Right. She's like, well, everybody, if you want to find out what kind of dog Sammy really is, you have to pay me 20 bucks. Right. Right. And she asked everybody and she kept at it for about a week or two. And then finally, and no just, one cared. No right. one gave her a penny. And then you finally she couldn't get, stand you it. You got to sell the subscriptions up front. <laughs> that was what she didn't get. So her business plan was terrible. Terrible. But finally, she just caved and said, oh, okay. And she showed us all. And it, yes, she's a labradoodle. She is a labradoodle. 